There goes my car. I've got a daughter who's playing her first game of softball in years at 2 p.m. this afternoon. It's now 10 to 1. Her car wouldn't start. I told her she needed to go to Battery World and get it checked and maybe get a new battery. She couldn't do that because she has to go shopping to get stuff that she needs for playing softball in one hour and ten minutes time that she can't play without. She's known this game has been coming up for two months. So she couldn't fix, she didn't have time to fix her car. So she had to take my car and when she got into my car the fuel light came on. <laughs> So I told her she had enough fuel to get her to the nearest fueling station to get diesel. Uh. There's a couple of things I want to progress with today. This is an off cut from the where did I put it? Right, the next job is to cut a tenon, the tongue part of mortise and tenon. So I think that's the tenon I'm going to cut. Presuming the mortise is the hole. Anyway. I'm going to cut a tongue joint tenon thingy on the end of the sign.
so you saw me fill that gap I did the same over here but can you see the mistake I made I've got the grain of the wood running in the wrong direction other than that you probably wouldn't even know it was a, a repair and this one that grain is just about perfect and that was accidental I, I may have mentioned this before but I've learned a lot from YouTube I learn a lot from YouTube I watch YouTube videos every day I watch two or three with breakfast and another two or three with lunch and so it was with this sign for example I did things with this sign that I wouldn't have even thought to do uh, six months ago but because I've seen people like Jimmy DeResta or Matt Hestley doing stuff with wood doing stuff with tools i figured not that i know what i'm doing but i figure i'll give it a shot a couple of philosophies i've heard about on youtube i really like as well like for example um finished is better than perfect uh, i also like the mantra just do it so when i get an idea in my head i like to just do it or at least just make a start because making a start is the best solution. Making a start is better than overthinking it. And so likewise with this sign, just do it. Just get in there, start making it, see what happens. If it works out, great. If it doesn't work out, I've learned a lot along the way. So there's another philosophy, make, learn, repeat. That's how you get better at stuff. So I just got in and made it and I learned a lot, that's for sure, but now I'm going to repeat. I've got another piece of that same wood, so I'm going to start again. This time I'm going to paint the letters on. The option I was toying with for a while was painting over the letters I've already made on the first one, but that was a bit too much for me. That was um, burying all that good work. The problem is there's no contrast between the letters and the wood. You can still read it, but it needs to stand out on the street especially. So I'll save that first effort, keep it inside my office at least uh, as a monument to my just do it philosophy so i'm going to start again on the lettering not looking forward to all that sanding but especially the sanding where you you have to sand to keep up with that music Am I 
remember how I was laughing at Ashling yesterday because she had to borrow my car and there was no fuel in it and she had to go fill it up. Well, I'm not laughing anymore because she pranked it. Nothing serious. Broke the glass off the tail light, but the lights still work. And put this hole in the back. I might actually leave it there and call it a 50 cal hole. I'll get some clear lacquer or something to stop it rusting.